What's up, everybody? Welcome to Eternal Wellness with Jonathan. Today, I'm excited to share with you guys the type of cardio that I use that really transformed my health and well-being and is honestly the most effective type of cardio that you should be doing to maximize your fat loss efforts and to really just see great health and wellness benefits to your body. All right, this type of cardio, I hope you're ready for this, took me from this body type to this body type right here that you see me at now. And the style of cardio that I use to get these results is a style called HIIT training. It could also be called burst training. I've heard it called both ways, but just in short, high intensity interval training. It's by far the best type of cardio when it comes to really burning fat while also not losing lean muscle mass and killing your gains. And it involves short bursts of intense exercise alternated with low intensity recovery or complete rest periods, just depending on how on how your hit sets are. And there's really there's five key health benefits that come with utilizing hit, hit cardio as your cardio regimen when it comes to really utilizing fat loss and just overall health. It's more efficient at burning calories. It helps reduce abdominal fat. It increases insulin sensitivity, it boosts metabolism, and it improves cardiovascular health. So you can see all the great benefits that come with using HIIT training, right? But you want to make sure you're using it effectively. And scientific studies show that in order to use HIIT effectively, you need to make sure that your heart rate reaches 85 to 95 percent of your max heart rate for your body. So the easiest way for you to calculate that is to take 220, you can subtract that from your age, and then just times it from point by 0.85 to 0.95, whatever number you want to you wanna try to get your heart rate to. And that's the number that you want to see when you're in, in between your high intensity interval sets. There's many styles and there's many different ways to incorporate HIT into your regimen, doing sprint intervals, biking, rowing, jump roping, and utilizing battle ropes. So an easy way you can start implementing HIIT training into your regimen if you're a relative newbie to it and don't really kind of know where to start We'll take sprinting, for example. You can do work intervals of 20 to 30 seconds of an all-out sprint, and you can take a rest time in between intervals of one to two minutes. You can do these for four to six sets. That would be about a 10-minute hit session, which is a really great starting place for a relative newbie that wants to start implementing hit training into their regimen. One thing to keep in mind as you start implementing hit training, or any style of training for that matter, is that you want to make sure you're progressing as your body gets used to the stress that you're putting on it through HIIT training, or you will plateau. So to make sure that you're avoiding that plateau and that you're continuing to burn fat, you want to just make sure that you, you are progressing. And ways to make sure that you're progressing in HIIT training is you can increase the intensity of your work intervals, just meaning how fast and how intense you're doing them, you can make sure that you're increasing the duration or the length at which your work intervals are. So if you've been doing 20 or 30 second sprints, you can increase that to 40 or 50 second sprints as you your body adapts and gets used to it. You can decrease the time of rest in between your sets. So if you've been resting for one to two minutes, you can just decrease that time of rest. You can also increase the number of sets. So if you've been, you've been doing uh, five sets, for example, as your body gets used to five sets, just make sure you're increasing those to maybe six or seven. And you can increase the frequency or just how many times you're doing your hit sessions throughout your work week. So if you're starting out doing maybe two or three hit sessions a week, you can just make sure you're increasing the time that you're doing it maybe four to five times just to make sure your body is progressing and that you're avoiding the plateaus as you start involving HIIT training into your, into your sessions. So if you're looking for the best type of cardio, especially for just burning fat and losing weight and getting the most out of your cardio sessions, 
HIT training is definitely the way to go. I'll also add to that utilizing HIT training in congruency with weightlifting and also just a steady diet that puts you in a caloric deficit is going to give you the best results and the fastest results for HIIT training and seeing those fat loss results that you want to see and seeing your body transform. So that's it for this video, guys. I want to just really thank you guys for tuning in. Would love for you to hit that like and subscribe button as well as maybe comment on some feedback on how you enjoyed the video. Again, just want to say thank you and I'll see you guys in the next video.